Welcome to F*** Around and Find Out Fridays with Crypto Cafe. Makes me want a latte real bad. I'm Lauren and I'm here with Elizabeth, Valerie and Shedding Sadie. Shedding hairs and shedding news, little Sadie is getting tired of all these crypto news headlines involving the SEC. That she is. The SEC and crypto exchanges continue to battle it out with Bittrex filing for bankruptcy after receiving an SEC complaint. Bittrex has said that customer assets are safe and secure because they intend to ask the bankruptcy court for a limited reopening of customer accounts so that the crypto could be distributed back to customers. This is very good. That means that customers would get their crypto back during that reopening. We've said it before, but if the SEC keeps putting pressure on these exchanges without providing them a clear path for how to operate, these exchanges are just going to operate somewhere outside of the U.S. Exactly. And that would mean that the U.S. would lose its opportunity to profit from these businesses. We're all just as tired as little shedding Sadie, and we're ready to shed this news and move on. Let's focus on some good crypto news. Prime Protocol, a DeFi prime brokerage, released an asset-based lending service that aims to eliminate the need for inter-blockchain token transfers. This will allow users to borrow against the value of their asset portfolio across several supported blockchains without the need for token bridges. I just threw out a lot of crypto terms, so let's help everyone break these down. Blockchains are currently separate from one another. For mass adoption, we would need blockchain interoperability. That means that blockchains would be able to communicate, share data, and build on each other's features. They basically work together as if they were not separate. Token bridges move crypto from one blockchain to another. Sadly, sadly, token bridges can be at risk for exploitations that could cause users to lose their crypto to hackers which is why this news is a big deal. It means that Prime Protocol introduced a way to cross-chain token transfers without those risky bridges, making transfers safer. These technological advances are taking us closer to making crypto easier and safer for everyone to adopt. One huge impediment to mass adoption is the user experience of existing exchanges, wallets, etc. That's right, especially when it comes to personal wallets. The safest methods for storing your crypto are always personal wallets, because then you don't have to trust an exchange to hold your crypto. Unfortunately, it is also the most inconvenient way to store your crypto, because you have to save wallet keys, and it's a very cumbersome process. You hear about all these people who have millions in crypto, but lost their wallet keys and can't remember them. Therefore, they lose all their crypto, your keys, your wallet. Exactly. The good news is that a Paris-based crypto firm, DFNS, added biometric support to their wallet development toolkit. This would allow crypto developers to build out wallets that use face ID, fingerprint scanners, and other biometrics to secure user funds. Usability is everything. Our Crypto Cafe team actually stopped by the Web3 Expo in Vegas and we met others who were trying to accomplish the same thing. I remember talking to people who were trying to make a crypto wallet that has these features. The difference between anyone we spoke to at the conference and DFNS is that DFNS is creating a development toolkit, meaning devs can incorporate this into their wallets. This is a positive impact on many wallet developers, meaning that with these types of innovations happening, we are closer to seeing better usability in the crypto space. I can't wait to see what else is developed and improved in the next few months. Sadie's loving this news. We're all sick of hearing about the SEC's war on crypto, but I bet everyone's going to be excited to see how accessible crypto is becoming. And with accessible crypto education, we predict mass adoption. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of F*** Around and Find Out Friday. There are so many innovations happening in crypto, so feel free to bring them up in our Facebook group, Blockheads of Crypto Cafe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us every Friday. Woo! <laughs> we did it. I did the wrong thing. I did too. I was like, in <laughs> Should we do the ending again? Sadie, oh. get over here. <laughs>